Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and we are here with the uh, new bug fixing updates. The uh, update cumulative update previews are here for Windows 11 now, and of course, earlier this week, Windows 10 had its uh, cumulative update preview too. Uh, what does this bring? Well, it brings a few changes, including some uh, new. Um, changes to the setup, the uh, install of Windows 11. When you actually do a clean install, they've uh, updated the clean install process. Also, there's going to be a new PC to PC migration experience in the Windows Backup app. It's not necessarily there yet for everybody, but eventually it's, of course, in the process of helping out Going from Windows 10 to Windows 11, of course. Uh, the update, if you uh, don't need it, of course, will only come in the Patch Tuesday updates of July. And, of course, I often say maybe it's better to wait in case there are some issues. That's why they call them update previews. They tweak them if something is wrong. But if you uh, update them, then you will have KB5060829. Uh, cumulative update preview for Windows 11 24H2. The um, cumulative update preview also fixes quite a few bugs uh, in the system. So this uh, will, um, of course, fix uh, stuff like uh, uh, running a script, remote server stuff problems. Uh, when you press Alt-Tab to switch out of uh, full screen games uh, or other windows, the um, Windows terminal might stop responding. Fixed. Also, Explorer.exe might stop working unexpectedly um, if a window is dragged. Uh, also, in the snapping process, Windows Hello fixed um, a, uh, a problem with automatic renewal of expiring certificates. Storage optimization is fixed. Uh, Windows Search responds very slowly. Uh, it could take up to 10 seconds before you actually use it. This is also fixed. And there's quite a few little things, including some uh, display problems with browsers. And uh, all of this is rolling out. So if you have no issues, you can just wait for it. And it'll actually install in the Patch Tuesday next month. Uh, if you install it, well, that's what you get. There's a few, a few more little things that are going to show up here and there, including in the uh, taskbar and the start menu. So... Uh, we'll be checking that out, of course, and uh, as uh, time goes by, we'll uh, maybe have some of the new features also, which most of them have not been turned on yet on my machine here. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.